Hey guys, Wills Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. We're going to do a daily run. Looks like it's a Lilith run, which is uh, not great. Goes to Mega Satan. We can tell because of the Mega Satan icon over here, and also the fact we have the key piece. Uh, let's go. We'll, we'll see how this works. Um, Lilith, not my favorite character by any stretch. Like, there is no universe in which I really enjoy playing Lilith. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see how it goes. Don't get hit by that. Uh, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna mini-boss here. We gotta keep these bombs. Yep, okay, well, we just lose a heart. That's fine. <laughs> this may end in disaster. We're, uh, we're already off to a not-so-excellent start. Um, we do have a bomb, so we can potentially get, we have all the keys as well. Uh, I'll, you know what, we'll check one of these golden chests. Let's see. We get mysterious paper, which I think it's like occasional Polaroid, uh, effect? Maybe? I don't remember. It's not a particularly useful trinket. There are much, much better trinkets out there. But we'll see. We gotta clear the big room. I, I really wish we had the box of friends uh, charge for this room. Because there's a lot of enemies, and it's a large room, and it's going to take forever. Uh, but that's fine. See if we can get rid of this one. There we go. Clear the little spider. Try and get rid of this guy next before he spawns any more enemies. Um... Yo, can you... There we go. <laughs> it's like, can you stop hiding behind the pot? Silly spider. Um, is that the last one? That is the last one. And I think our item room was... No, this is our shop. What do we got in here? Okay. Nothing particularly great. Uh, we'll keep looking. This is not an XL floor, right? No. So we'll probably come across our item room pretty soon. At least I hope. Did you have to spawn more spiders? Okay, there we go. There's one. Just... Okay. Now we just back up. Try and... We're trying to, like, draw the spiders through this crack where they're in, like, a straight line and we can actually hit them. The whole problem with Lilith as a character, and the reason Lilith is not super fun for me to play, is basically... Because uh, it's hard to get her shot. Like, your accuracy is always a little bit off. Because um, your shots are always coming from behind you, and they don't always go where you want them to. So, and, like, it causes weird issues where, like, you're chasing an enemy or something, and you take damage, or, like, uh, that's right, we've already been this way. So, item room basically has to be down here somewhere. And we have another <laughs> large room. Because, <laughs> of course, we do. Oh, that was just terrible. Okay, there's our actual item room. Uh, so we can't use a charge here because we want to save it for the boss. So we'll have to do this without the uh, box of friends, which is fine. Like, Lilith with box of friends actually pretty fun. If, like, if you always had the Box of Friends effect active, you'd be in good shape. But you don't. So, Two of Diamonds, we'll hold on to that for now. Scapular is, uh, when you go down to half a heart, you gain one spirit heart. Like, once per room. Maybe we can find a way to make that work somehow, at some point. For now, let's just go fight the boss. Use Box of Friends right away. And then we'll just melt the boss with Box of Friends and the double Incubuddy charge. There we go. Easy enough. Cat of Nine Tails is actually a good item. We're happy to have it. Damage is good. All right, moving on. Let's see what we got here. Basement two. Okay. Um, you know what we can do is just push this like way over here. 
and then do one of those. There we go. Check our item room. We get stitches. I think we kind of need to stick with Box of Friends. Stitches is a good item that we're probably going to get hit here. No, we somehow managed to dodge. Okay. We get a mini boss that uh, doesn't... <laughs> Is going to drop all its rewards inside the thing where I I can't believe I got hit there. Okay, well, we're now down to one heart. Uh, we do a scapular, which helps. Uh, and we we definitely want to go angel deals on this run, I think, not uh, deals with the devil. Um, I'm actually really glad we have five keys right now because I can get it in this treasure room. Maybe, hopefully, get something useful. Can you not? Like, there we go. Okay, lucky penny is good key beggar not exactly what we needed i was hoping for like some chests or <laughs> something all right there's a tinted rock there if we could get a bomb and we're not going to so boss it is oh don't you careful all right we're fine i thought we were gonna get hit there for sure we didn't really have anywhere to dodge to we're trying to, like, keep the poop in between us and the boss. There we go. I think we've done it. We made it work, and we get a spirit heart. Take the range upgrade. I'm going to skip the deal with the devil. Because we're going for deals with the angel. Uh, our HP really can't support uh, a deal with the devil at the moment. This is another room where I really wish I had a box of friends. Not gonna lie. Hey, you don't get hit by that. So close. Too close for comfort. Okay. Almost. There we go. He's dead. And then we've got these. Uh, reverse. These like reverse tarot cards. And they do something different than the standard one. Let me, let me just see here. Um, Isaac cards. Cards and runes. What do the new fancy reverse ones do? Reversed. Okay. We got a reversed wheel of fortune. Invert, uh, invokes a random dice room effect. Uh, so Dice Room could be a lot of different things. Could be reroll the whole run. I don't think we want to do that. We're pretty happy with the run as, as it is. So I think we're good. Still do have three keys as well. So maybe we'll check the uh, boss trap room there. Hope for some golden chests. We definitely are going to need a bit more than what we've got going for us right now if we want to have any chance whatsoever of being able to defeat Mega Satan. We're going to need some good items. We're going to need some more HP. Ooh, that's uh, a huge step in the right direction. Blessed Penny is an amazing trinket. Every time you pick up a penny, you get a chance for there to be a half soul heart. Uh, you know what? We'll do this. What do we got? Hey, careful. So that might basically solve our HP problem by itself. Depending, you know, of course, on being able to find money. And it's a, it's not a super, super high chance. It's a much lower chance than the other various penny trinkets, like, uh, you know, Bloody Penny and uh, Burnt Penny and all that kind of stuff. But um, even still, like, every time you pick up a penny, you get a chance to get Spirit Hearts as well. Like, yes, please. That's a very good trinket. I would I would honestly say Blessed Penny is probably like a top five trinket in the game. Maybe top uh, top ten for sure. Probably top five. Like ve it's very very good. Um, I'm trying to think what I would actually take over. Uh, Blessed Penny. And you'd be like, um, Cracked Crown? Cancer Trinket? Probably Curved Horn? And that's about it. Maybe Flat Penny? 
like situationally maybe some of the other penny trinkets if you're like really need them uh there we go blessed penny doing work for us already we'll blow up this tinted rock more hp i think we're just gonna fight the boss right now since we have a full charge And I don't think we're going to get that much stronger over the course of this one item room. So I think we'll probably okay just, just fighting the boss right now. Okay, there we go. We get a bone heart. Oh, is this an XL floor? This is an XL floor. I didn't even realize it. And you know what? I'll take experimental treatment. So we got... Tears down, HP up, range up, damage unaffected. Not a very good uh, experimental treatment, honestly. Oh, that's... yeah. <laughs> okay. That's seven... Uh, what, what, what you gonna do? Uh, you know what, though? We can explode a lot of these flies just by shooting the black poops. There we go. Because the black poops, when you shoot them, do deal a little bit of damage to all enemies in the room. It's not like a massive amount, but it's enough that the two black poops can basically kill all the flies, except for the, the like, really good ones. Or the champion ones, I should say. So now we need Rate of Fire in a very bad way. Golden Key's nice. Don't get hit by that. Uh, this is going to be one of those rooms, because, like, normally I'd be able to hit the guys standing here. But because we're Lilith, we can't. So we basically have to go over here and shoot them from that, from in their uh, firing range or whatever. Which is just not what you want to do. Like, this is what I mean when I talk about like Lilith being, uh, okay, that was close. And one more. Just hit them. There we go. <laughs> it's like, please hit the spider. Man. All right. Uh, we got a sacrifice room. Um, probably not a good idea, honestly. Uh, we may go back and fight the other boss here and, and just... Yep, okay. In just a second, because we do have, again, a full charge of Box of Friends. Uh, sure. Especially since we have the uh, golden key. Hey, there we go. Found our item rooms. Both of them. So, uh, wonderful. Let's get rid of that. So we can hopefully get rid of this creep on the floor. There we go. Uh, we're sticking with Blessed Penny, obviously. Hot bombs will give us five bombs and make them start fires. And this, I think, yeah, is not an item that we want. Uh, okay. I mean, we could potentially go back and do the dice room thing and hope it doesn't reroll the whole run. But, like, eh, that doesn't sound like maybe it's the best idea in the world. Very careful here. Peep is a boss that you can easily take damage on if you're not paying attention. Yep, right there. It <laughs> didn't... Like, the other thing, too, is we got to speed down from that experimental treatment as well. So it's a little bit harder to dodge now. Still, it's certainly not impossible, but... Um... Oh, I thought we, I thought we killed him right there. Thought he was playing his death animation. There we go. He's dead. Take the HP. And thankfully, we do get Guardian Angel. Uh, we will fight you. I know I already have... Actually, no. I've already got both key pieces. I don't need to fight you again. What am I doing? There's. It's literally pointless to fight you a second time. Because it increases, because our deal, the whole point of fighting the angel statue here is to get a key piece so that you can increase your chance of a deal with the devil. 
But we already have both key pieces because it's a Mega Satan run. So our our uh, Angel Deal chance is already maxed out. Like, we, we can't get it any higher. I, I mean, I suppose technically you could get, like, certain items that increase your deal chance, but you know what I mean. Either way, it gives us a key. The confession booth is not worth it. I did look up what it does, uh, and I forget what it does now, but it's not worth it. <laughs> it does a thing. I don't remember what that thing is off the top of my head, but I remember reading it and thinking to myself, that's not worth it unless you have, like, broken hearts, which are something that we haven't actually come across yet. Um, no, you know what? Let's go get a... No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I was going to say, let's go get a room charge before we start this, but we'll we'll be able to do one uh, wave and then get our box of friends charge. And this should give us a fair amount of spirit heart. Well, maybe not a not as much as I was thinking. It gave us one full spirit heart, basically. Come on. There we go. Got him. One more wave. Mini pins? Yep, mini pins. Oh. There we go. Okay. So we got a spirit heart out of it and then some money and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, we should definitely check the shop on this floor. We've got, like, a pretty substantial amount of cash. So that's probably worth it. Plus, we also have two of diamonds, which will double our money. Man, that, the amount of damage we have taken just on this one room is frankly embarrassing. <laughs> that was horrible. I mean, I'm definitely not going to use a box of friends charge on this. That's just not worth it. Okay. We'll use it here. So that we can hopefully clear out these dudes faster before they spawn all the yellow flies. But we need some major stuff. That Honestly, that experimental treatment, that's the first time I can remember in a while where, like, experimental treatment really hurt us. Because, like, now, we're on floor five. We've gotten one damage upgrade. And then we also got a rate of fire decrease and a speed decrease. Like, we're not really any stronger than we were on the first floor, honestly. Um, what is this item? What is this box looking thing? Keeper's box, when used, spawns a random shop item or consumable. However, however, you have to pay the relevant cost to pick us to pick it up. Yeah, I think I'm uh, I think I'm good. Uh, we'll pass on that. I will absolutely buy a spirit heart though. That seems worth it. And then we just keep it moving. You know what? Spend a key, get a chest and a bomb and stuff. I think that's probably worth it too. Please leave me alone. I don't know. Maybe, like, deals with the devil were the way to go on this run or something. Because, like, oof. We're, uh, we're definitely not feeling very strong right now. The good news is we have a fairly good chance of getting a deal on this floor as well. So all is not lost. All it takes is, like, one really good angel room item. You know, you gave me, like, a sacred heart, and we're even. Okay, there's our boss. Pop in here, pop box of friends, and just start shooting. Don't get hit by that. Or that. 
Don't get hit by the brimstone beam. I repeat, do not get hit by the brimstone beam. This is an ideal location to fight him, as he will be jumping back and forth between up and down, which means we can actually hit him instead of having... Oh, okay, that was just bad. Instead of having our way blocked by the skulls. Oh. We shouldn't get hit there. We just need to defeat him without taking another heart and a half of damage. Like, as long as we don't lose our deal here, we'll be okay. And that shouldn't be too hard to do. There we go. We've done it. We got to deal with the devil. Well, there's no reason to not look. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll take an emperor card with us. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, there's there's good things in here. Um, there's an item I don't recognize. Oh, that was so bad. And then there's an item that increases our damage for every enemy we kill in the room, which is the item we, we definitely want for sure. Um, I need to look up and see what this item does. Vengeful Spirit. Each time you take damage, a red flame orbital will appear around you for the remainder of the floor up to a maximum of six. Okay. This seems like okay, but it requires you to take damage, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, however, this item right here... And you're going to hate me for it, but this item right here <laughs> are probably worth our time. I know going down to such a small amount of HP is a little terrifying, but I promise there is a method to my madness because death's list pretty, pretty fly. Tears down again. Health up. Health up. There we go. I'm excited. That's real bad. Okay. So the, the method to my madness is death's list. If you kill... Basically, when you walk into a room, you'll be given, like, a little marker on top of one of the enemies. And it basically says, if you kill an enemy in this order, you will get either a permanent stat boost, which can be hugely useful. Tauros... I can't. I can't take Tauros. Our speed is so bad. And our rate of fire is like, oh, do you see this rate of fire? This is terrible. This is like half. It, it feels like roughly half of what our normal rate of fire would be. This is not a great run, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Check here for a secret room. That's not a secret room. Um, Maybe over here? Nope. I don't know. Whatever. I don't care that much. Let's just go. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this one. There was I'm Excited kicking in. Hopefully it doesn't do it again. Alright. If we do somehow make it to Mega Satan with this run and actually defeat Mega Satan. Even if, honestly, if we even make it to Mega Satan with this run, I will be like very proud of myself. Yep. Okay. Oh, hey, I got Ambi uh, Abaddon Baby from Cambian Conception. Thank you, Abaddon Baby, for just like existing. You're doing things. Okay, Rosary, I'm going to take. Gives me three spirit hearts. Also gives you a tears upgrade now. That I didn't notice. That's a wonderful change, honestly. Uh, I'll throw it on a bomb here. We got Blessed Penny, so, you know, getting some pennies here could be pretty good. Or, you know, not. Um, I will play the Blood Bank a couple times, hoping basically for a... Basically hoping for a Spirit Heart. 
This is a golden penny? It will respawn continuously until eventually it doesn't within the same room. There we go. That ended up helping out quite a lot. Um, you know what? Let's, let's, we're not making boss rush, right? Yeah, we're already past the time limit for boss rush. So let's take full advantage. Uh, we definitely don't want to be taking an I'm excited pill. Not again. I will take another health up pill. I mean, we've got two luck right now, which is pretty good. Explosive diarrhea. That's not great. Okay. Yep. Well... Thankfully for me, I did manage to uh, not destroy the blood bank over here. Oh, you gave me IV bag. How could you? <laughs> really hoping for a blood bag instead because uh, we need the speed. So that was not particularly great. Um, so you see the little skull icon on top of these guys? That means that this is the enemy I need to destroy for death's list. And then when I do so, they will drop a random pill, uh, a stat upgrade, or a consumable, or like something along those lines. You'll get basically an extra room reward, and it can be a permanent stat upgrade, which is huge. The, that's the whole reason the item is good. It can give you spirit hearts and stuff like that, but it can also give you, um, you know, damage upgrades, rate of fire increases... All that kind of stuff. The only stat it can't give you is... I'm not going to spend a bomb over there. The only stat it can't give you is um, uh, health. It can't give you more HP. Uh, although it can give you spirit hearts. So, like, it kind of can give you more HP. That was just terrible. Um, get rid of those. But overall, it can be a... Honestly, it's it's... A run-saving item. It does, it's not going to work in every room, especially on rooms like uh, with enemies here that split into other enemies, like this guy, for example. Really, really hard to get Death's List to work here. Because sometimes you just kill the split enemies, like as soon as they pop up, just due to the nature of your damage and stuff. Abaddon Baby is basically saving me right now, by the way, since our damage is so bad. Okay, moving on. You know what? We should check the... We should check... Uh, I don't think the secret room can be here, but yeah, just in case. It's not like I don't have the bombs. We'll check the cursed room. Okay. Just a demon beggar. Let's keep moving. Uh, excuse me? I, I don't actually even know what hit me there. Okay. Oh, we almost got our uh, thing to... All right, another pretty fly. So we got a full suite of orbitals now. I'll spend one bomb here to get the bookworm trans or one key here to get the the uh, bookworm transformation, and then also it gave us seraphim, which allows us to fly. So that's pretty nice. Okay, the creep is not great. And now we just need you. There we go. And it gave us a spirit heart. Beautiful. Uh, this is probably a box of friends room, honestly. Double Abaddon baby is pretty sweet. Okay, there we go. Let's go check the shop. Um, I mean, I have 99 cents, so I think we check all of this speed down. Seriously, all the pills. Tower card. 
And I don't want broken stopwatch. <clears throat> we just keep moving. <laughs> Pills on this run have not been our friend. I Leave me alone, fly. I need to kill this one first. There we go. What did we get? We got a speed upgrade. Thank you, Death's List. Do one of those. Basically just fishing for uh, Blessed Penny charges, but that's not happening, so so be it. We're just letting double Abaddon baby do like 99% of the heavy lifting here. There we go. Take all the red hearts, take the Polaroid, and we out. And now we're to the point of the game where we're not going to get any item rooms. <laughs> so... I think what we do is we build up a couple of charges here. Or at least attempt to. And then we basically just teleport to the boss with our, uh, our Emperor card. I'm running out of places to dodge. Okay, there we go. The good news is someday when I actually kill this enemy... I will get a Death's List reward. Okay. The problem is I can't actually get to this enemy to kill him. Seriously? There, finally. Uh, we got a stat upgrade of some sort. Uh, Rate of Fire, I think. Yep. That's great. And was seriously needed. All right, we get another pill we don't recognize. Tears up, luck's down, luck down. I can completely live with that. That's actually totally fine. We need the rate of fire more than we need the luck. I mean, Death's List is doing great work for us right now. Like, if we do successfully win this run, it's basically because Death's List saved us. <laughs> and my very risky... They'll deal with the devil play where I went down to half a heart. Ended up being completely worth it. Uh, we're going to use the Emperor card here. This is a fairly easy boss, all things considered. Yeah, just got to be a little careful with some of those shots like that one. All right. Speed upgrade. Thank goodness. What do we got in here? Guppy's paw. I mean, we do have the Polaroid. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, on to the next floor. Maybe that was a good idea. Maybe not. Only time will tell. <laughs> but there's only one way to find out. Oh. All right. Well, we got a damage upgrade out of it, I think. Oh, maybe. Or maybe we got HP. I don't know. Either way. Uh, I want to... Oh, this room's not what I'm looking for. Okay. Oh, that's right. I can fly. I totally forgot. I'm like, it's going to be so hard to dodge all the... Yeah, it's self, you dummy. You can fly. I forgot we got the Seraphim transformation. Okay, so I would very much like to kill... This guy down here first. It's not going to happen, so... At this point, we just kill whatever moves. Where'd that last one go? There he is.
Okay. And Blessed Penny is basically one of the reasons that I was willing to give away all of my HP. Also, I just saw a Tinted Rock in there. This shouldn't be too hard to make uh, Death's List proc for us. Since there's only two enemies. There we go. We got just a key out of it. There's also a Tinted Rock, like, right here. We're getting very, uh, the game is being very generous right now with Tinted Rocks. Bunch of money, a key, and we did get a half a Spirit Heart out of it, so it's fine. Small Rock. I'm going to take it. It is a speed downgrade, which stinks, but it's also damage and rate of fire, both of which we need, because our damage is kind of abysmal right now. Okay. And I think we got damage from that. Yep. Very nice. And we want to make sure we're picking up all the pennies simply because we have Blessed Penny. Like, even though we don't actually need the money as far as, like, our money stats and stuff goes... This is basically a room that's impossible to get Death's List to trigger on, by the way. Because of all the little yellow spiders. I think we just go fight the boss. Uh, although, we should check here for a secret room. That worked out well. Throw that down. Throw a bomb down here as well. Uh, swallowed Penny, we'd rather have Blessed Penny, obviously. And then, that's HP. I'm gonna say no to that. I was gonna say we should look and see what's in there. And the answer was nothing. Uh, we're also gonna look for a secret room here. And here. And it's in neither of those places, so now we just go fight the boss. And we need to get rid of the eyeballs first. And we can't really get close enough to make Abaddon Baby work for us, unfortunately. We can use it right there. If the little shell enemies get close enough to us. Okay, no deal. That's fine, though. We go up. I don't know. We, we maybe have a chance here. Like, I don't know. It's going to be close. Uh, we definitely don't want to go into the cursed room. I'm going to need you to die. There we go. Like, with... Um, I hate this. I'm not even going to try to make... Uh, oh, yep. <laughs> not even going to try to make Death's List work on that room. Just too many enemies. Basically, the, the rooms that you can make work for Death's List without, like, too much... Uh, insanity are rooms where there's a limited number of enemies. You know, like one or two enemies, sometimes three, like this room, for example. Or if the enemy, or, or if the enemies are like really easy to kill and they're spread out quite a lot. Like, sometimes you can make it work. Sometimes, not so much. What fell? Key? I mean, we'll grab it. Um, let's just keep going down. Seriously? We can't even kill this one dude? There we go. I mean, there's like not any bad... There's not any stat down pills left. We've taken them all at some point. At least that's what it feels like. We've taken all the bad stat down pills. <laughs> you know, we've taken tears down. We've taken speed down. So at this point, like, whatever. Okay, lucky penny's good. 
I can always use more luck, especially with us going to the chest in a little bit. Now, the question is, do we actually want to do the chest? And the answer is probably not. I would very much like to kill the one with the skull first. If at all possible. There we go. We've done it. And now I'm trying to not get hit by the turret. Like, we can't afford to take any more damage here. Okay, there we go. Health up. I'm going to probably say that, that that's not a good plan. The reason being... Uh, it would... I think we're better off having permanent Polaroid invincibility. And having that always proc for us. With five seconds of invincibility versus having one extra hit. I, I think the invincibility is far more valuable. Ah, man. Okay. Okay. Check here for a secret room. Check here for a secret room. Check here for a secret room. There it is. Please, spirit hearts. Rotten hearts. Those do me no good. Okay. I mean, we will at least clear a couple of rooms in the chest. Because we'll need to refresh our box of friends battery. All right, now the honestly the first phase of this fight is harder. The second phase is pretty straightforward as long as you know to get in the corner and it's got to be the 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 corner that's like to the side of where the beams are starting if that makes any sense yeah we're probably gonna get hit here yep that was just a terrible spot to be because like especially with less than one speed I don't know how we were making it to the other corner in time. It's fine. All right, down we go. We have two HP. It's not great. Okay, so here's what you do. It pains me to do this. But you reroll the whole run. Our run is worse now than it was then. Somehow, it, it got worse. Okay. Well, we're gonna die. Yep. Rip. Oh, we have Guppy's collar. Okay. Why do we still have like infinity HP? Like, it's not used. Like, I don't know what we're supposed to do here. Did you, do you realize that we're on the last floor and we have essentially gotten one damage upgrade the entire game? And that we did not receive a single tiers upgrade the entire game? The only tiers upgrades we got were from pills? Oh, and uh, I, I suppose we did get one. We got the Rosary, which is not a particularly great tiers upgrade. So, like, this is kind of a cursed run from the start. And we made it farther than I thought we would. Demon Rage, Soul of Azazel. What does the Soul of Azazel do? Soul of Azazel activates Mega Blast for 7.5 seconds. Okay. 
We're gonna use it to clear a room for free. Thank you. What do we got? All right, now we have mom's knife. Our damage is still terrible. Uh, and we have one single soul heart. So like mom's knife is great, but our damage is not. We also got nine lives. Yep. Dude, this run is cursed. I'm telling you. We're going to either reroll into a super powerful run with no HP or we're just going to die because like there's no way that uh, we can possibly succeed in like defeating Mega Satan in this state with Azazel. 4.5 damage is just not enough. Also, uh, I want to mention um, re-rolling, like the whole little item cards that I edit in. Yeah, I'm not doing that for full run re-rolls. Like, <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. So, you know, if you really want to know what one of these items is, uh, platinumgod.co.uk slash repentance. You can see the full list of the items there and what they all do. Otherwise, uh, just wait for the item to pop up in a regular run that we pick up. I I'm not doing it for full run rerolls. I'm sorry. It's just way too much work. Like, also, I don't even know how I would edit, like, 20 items onto the screen at once. Where, where'd he go? Stop moving, little horn. Where'd he go? We're not going to get any items. I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, why don't we just go fight the boss and die? <laughs> no, we should re we should reroll one more time. We're only one room. We're, we're one... Uh, a single room away from a reroll. We didn't get it, but that gave us Godhead and Tech X. Do we have Kidney Stone? We have Kidney Stone. I don't even know. Like. I don't know if this works with Godhead. You know what? It's fine. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. I'm not overly optimistic. Uh, we definitely want to get a full charge here, though. Oh, okay. This might work. Maybe. We need a little bit more HP. This is as good of a run as you can hope for, though, I think. Like, the damage output is great. Sun card? Yeah, damage output's looking awesome. Now it's just a matter of staying alive long enough for said damage output to do its thing. And I'm gonna try and scrounge up just a little bit more HP. Because we have ways to get it. You know, if we, we can get chests on any of these floors that would give us items. Like this. Okay. Not really the item I was looking for. But also, we do have... Um, the Blessed Penny. So we can potentially get HP from coins lying on the ground. Which is the far more likely outcome. But what we do is we clear this entire floor... Basically hoping for any advantage we can get. Because realistically, the difference between having nine one-heart lives and, you know, six one-heart lives is not really that high. Dude, this room, though. Kidney stone is actually a curse. Uh, 
It may it's making it so I can't fire consistently. But it's fine. Oh, champion bloat. Wow. Champion bloat got absolutely destroyed there. That's fairly promising, if I'm being honest. Be careful. Okay. Okay. Um. Hematemesis. I mean, we did get half a heart. Uh, I don't think Tech 2 is really going to help us. Because it's going to lower our rate of fire. You know what? Let's try it. It might synergize with Godhead. I'm, I'm not sure. Or it might just not work at all. Yeah, it appears that it's completely overwritten by Tech X. Which means it's going to do basically nothing for us, uh, except for lower our rate of fire. So, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, this is still our best chance. We have uh, two hits. <laughs> we, we can take two hits. <laughs> Uh, no, we should. We need to find the secret room. Let's go secret room hunting. There it is. There's one of them. Uh, greed fight? Actually fine here. Because the thing is, greed, when he dies, drops a bunch of money. Money means spirit hearts. And that is why we went looking for the room. Okay. Uh... Then we also need to look for a secret room. Or a, a second secret room. Which is probably right here? Nope. Okay. So in that case, it's probably over here somewhere. And we have the bombs. So we need to take full advantage of that. It's not over here at all, is it? Nope. Okay. Well. Couple other places it can be. We're not going to be using the bombs in the battle. So my guess then is over here somewhere, maybe? Maybe like here? 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 I will explode every wall searching for this second secret room. I'll do it until I run out of bombs. I don't even care. It's actually very important that we find this. Okay. What's left to explode? Um, haven't checked here. Okay. That's not it. Uh, checked both of those. It's not up here, is it? That would be a troll. If it was right there? No. Or I guess it could also technically be right there. It's right there. What a troll job. <laughs> it doesn't even help. Okay, it's fine. Uh, still, we're in a much better position now than we were when we, you know, cleared the floor, so to speak. We managed to get a couple extra hits. I'm not saying we're going to win, but I'm saying there's a chance. Let's do it. Pop box of friends immediately. And the hope is between Godhead. Okay, this is just not what we're looking for. Okay, good damage. I mean, the thing is, Mega Satan has boss armor. So our shots can only do so much damage to him at a time. Uh, 
which means it's going to take us a little while to get through it. But these guys, these ones are easy. Keep the troll bombs away if we can. Don't get hit by that. All right, kidney stone. Effect wear off, please. There we go. Dead. So far, so good. Is that the beam? All right, there we go. We're actually using a kidney stone charge right now while he's all... changing phases and stuff. Oh, these split that way? That's annoying. Um... I need to be able to see him in case he uses uh, the Mega Beam of Death. We got two more hits we can afford to take. This I don't like at all. We might die right here. Or we might get him. One more hit and we're dead. Uh, uh, don't get hit. We're so close. Kid Kidney Stone. This is the worst possible time for you to appear. We've done it. Oh, goodness. We were not going to get through that fight without getting hit at all, by the way. So it was basically that life. Uh, it was basically that life or bust. We actually succeeded. I'm honestly pretty proud of that. That worked out somehow. Somehow we made it. Uh, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.